Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today, very excited to show you uh, the uh, pouches that I made for the carpet cover vintage style journals that I've been showing you. So I made five journals using those uh, carpet samples and I love the way they turned out and I wanted to sort of house them in a special place so I decided to um, come up with something and this is what I did. So I made some pouches out of napkins, a cloth napkins that came with a tablecloth and or some fabric that I had. And then I proceeded to attach lace and pieces of uh, trim that I've had, I, I have in my stash. So there's a combination of um, vintage laces on here, crochet, um, crochet trim, just anything that I had. Uh, so this is the first one. So they're not in, probably not in order of the way I got the videos posted, but uh, nonetheless, I just wanted to show you each one. So that's the bottom. I just kind of let a piece hang on the bottom there and uh, layered up uh, laces and and trims here. So the inside when you open up the front cover is going to have some of this blue in there. So I wanted to use a little bit on the front to kind of coordinate. They don't all really coordinate but um, if I could do it I did. So that's what's under there and then more lace and this is the back. So there's some of my crochet trim that's vintage there. And I just, I, I love the way they turned out. They're just so beautiful. Um, so I put a button on there with a little hook. And um, that's how it looks on the inside. And then inside of this one uh, is this journal here. So that's the first one. I had so much fun making them too. Kind of really helped me with my sewing skills a little. And I was able to use up a lot of uh, laces and trims too. So that's the first one. And then there's this one has a little bit more gold on it so there's the bottom yeah I just added some gold trim there that's the top this is um, pieces of doily the trim on some uh, big doilies that I had so I use that as well that's very vintage lace right there and a really big vintage button and when you open it um, this journal is inside the one with the blue and that's how it looks on the inside so that just fits right in there. I, I, I made them a little bigger so there is room in there. So I had made one a while back and I made a mistake. I couldn't use it because um, it became too tight for the journal. So I had to focus on my measuring a little bit more and make sure that whatever it is that I was putting in there would actually fit. So that's the second one. Um, this one is the third one. This is obviously going to be the red and black um, black one. So uh, this is some trim I got from AliExpress. This is an old uh, doily that I cut. Um, there's some black that's some red uh, sari silk ribbon and um, that's some black fabric from a, an actual sari. And then I just layered it up. That's the back. Uh, I got our vintage red button on the front. 
And that's what it looks like when you open it. And that's the journal that goes with it. So it's really pretty together. So that goes back in there. Like that. They're, I tried to make them all the same size. They kind of vary a little because sometimes, you know, you're on your sewing machine, you don't really realize. And then, you know, maybe the way I pulled some of the laces and things sort of uh, makes the sizes slightly different, but I'm pretty sure that any journal can fit in any one of the pouches and uh, they're homemade, so they're not, you know, I'm sure there's flaws, I know there is, but, uh, and I made it, so <laughs> it's pretty exciting actually. Um, so this is the fourth one, and see, you can see uh, this one, already looks a little bit smaller and sometimes it's just like this one has fringe on the bottom so it just gives it the illusion that it's longer it actually stops there so you know they're not that far off they're about the same size these ones just look bigger because of the the added fringe on the bottom but I still put some vintage uh sorry not vintage crochet trim on the bottom and that's how it looks at the back and this one has the burnt orange um, and blue sequin trim on it I'll show you here and that's what it looks like when you open it And that's the journal that's inside. So it goes really well together. So that's number four. Okay. So that's that one. And then the last one is this one and you can see I use gold on this one so it looks like at the back I can't decide which one is actually my favorite but this one is pretty close <laughs> so uh, this is what it looks like when you open it And this is the journal that's inside. <clears throat> so this goes in there. I'll just close this one back up. And that's that's it. That's the fifth one. So I was really anxious to show you guys these. Um, they're super cute and not very difficult to make. Maybe just like I said, a little more time consuming than anything. Um, but I think it's uh, well worth it in the end. Um, if, you're, if you wanna give a gift, um, this would be the perfect way to package it. So if you have a little extra time, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to see what you guys uh, think about that. And, um, and that's it. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And we will talk to you really soon. 